Hey, I'm Cesar from Chatwith. Today we want to show you, I think it's a nice uh, new feature, and it's to create, let's say, dynamic links to get paid based on the options the user is is choosing in the widget. Okay, I think it's, I, I know, I, maybe this feels a bit complicated, but uh, let's, let's, let's see an example so you can see where we, where we are. So let's go here. We have a, we have a booking. We have a, this is a, an apartment a booking. Let's go here to the landing page so you can see it. So, you know, very simple, very straightforward. You know, you want to rent a, a, a room. So let's put here my phone number. How many guests? I'm three. I want this and I want to go from 16 to 18 and uh, no special needs. So what is going to happen or what should happen? What we are going to do is we are going to send the user to a checkout for this booking, this price, this amount of days. We click and we have this amount because it's the, it's the days I choose. So I need to pay to confirm my booking. Otherwise, my booking will be canceled. You know, I know uh, it's simple. We want to make the, the user experience, you know, as easy as possible. And what's uh, what's happening underneath? What's happening in the, you know, as as, as a user? First, uh, what, we, what we need to do? First, we need to, of course, we need to activate payments. You need to activate your Stripe account. Okay, this is important because it's a step number one. This only works with a Stripe. Once you have a Stripe working, you can create a, a product that you know is called dynamic price. What that means? The price is going to be calculated based on the widget. You know, the widget you know is like a calculator, and when the user choose you know, the options, we are going to calculate the price and we are going to send the user to the uh, checkout. As you know, the, the options you have here is, is as usual. You can put as many as you want. This, this is for you. And, you know, we have we will have the option to, you know, calculate the price on, you know, based on the widget uh, actions or the widget options. So now let's go to the widget. Let's go here. And what do we have here in the form? We have, you know, name, WhatsApp number, how many guests. In this case, the, get, the guests are not, do not change the pricing. Okay. But this is something you can do. Okay. If you want to the price, the, if you want the guest to change the pricing, that's something you can do. The rooms, you know, in the rooms, we have the price per day. Okay. We have different rooms. We have different pricing. I just put in this case five, you know, to, to make the example. So, you know, we can do testing and we can see what's happening. This is price per day. Okay. And we have the rooms and, you know, the price per day. So if the user choose one, two, three, four, we calculate the price, you know, uh, under demand. So this is something you can do. We have reminders, everything else. Uh, you can you can set uh, the minimum reservations uh, you allow. For example, uh, the minimum is three days, or the the maximum is fifteen days, or you know, whatever. So this is for you to manage your bookings, and you know if if you want you know a special note, you can put something here. Okay, so this is for the this is for the user, and at the end we need to we need to we need to choose send the user to checkout. And we need to choose the option we create for dynamic price. Okay. So we link a checkout with dynamic price with a widget that is going to do the calculation. Okay. I hope this is clear. So the widget is going to do the calculations here, you know, I mean, and, and you can, you can choose anything. I mean, can be bookings, but can be services, can be, you know, anything you want. Uh, Let's say you have a saloon and you want to do 
uh, nails plus uh, wax plus something is 65 okay you need to pay before you know getting the getting the confirmation so this is the this is the option so we activate and you know this is working the user is going to do the booking choose the date pay and when it's pay we have the confirmation what happens in the calendar what happens in the in the crm in the crm you can have users you know with no pay option other users who paid you know as the label so we have this user confirmed this user is you know is confirmed this is paid and this user is not confirmed so we go to the calendar and we can see the bookings and we can see this one as confirmed and in february we have this one you know that is not confirmed you see that the color is different when, when it's solid means confirmed when it's white means it's not confirmed so this user is not confirmed he didn't pay okay so we can send them a message we can send them a pay a pay link we can send them a reminder we can send them you know something so he's going to pay but other other than that he is not confirmed he is not going to uh, have the booking confirmed so this is this is important and as usual here you can see the total money you are making you know, this will be the total amount of money you are making in this period you no know? so in february we have ten dollars in january we have uh, nine thousand so you can see how you are doing okay you can see your bookings and you can see how everything is working so i think this is interesting i think this is a nice uh, feature the idea is to help you you know to use the widget as a calculator and link the widget to a payment option so the user can you know pay you before confirming the service let's say you are a consultant you are a lawyer you have rooms or you have apartments or you or you have parking space or you rent bikes motorbikes cars anything like that can be you know it can be used with this solution you can make a booking you can link the booking to payments the payment is going to be calculated based on the days or the duration of the service or the different options or you know uh, extras you may have so you will have a total amount the total amount will be sent to the user you know in the process and he needs to he she needs to pay before you know confirming the okay this is done i want this service so i think this is nice this is a fully automated solution the widget is going to do all the work for you you are going to get the money in your bank account and you know with a stripe i think is is great because stripe is the is the best solution for payments works fantastically i mean it's super secure you know it's going to give you all the you know all the all the good things about uh you know about uh you know how the money flows uh, you're going to see where is the money you're going to see the transactions you know you receive you can refund if there is an issue you can get a ticket so there is there is plenty of you know i mean the integration we have done give you a lot of you know tools for you to to work if you need help with the setup if you need help with how this works if you need help please contact us because we want to help you okay so thank you and hope you like it bye bye